welcome to all myself professor deshmukh means presenting the application based problem on damp vibrations before this we have seen some formulations of damp vibrations what is the damp vibration time vibrations is quite easier that the vibrations having some resistance to the motions of the body that is what is what damp vibrations means what it create something resistance to the motions that is called as what damp vibrations what is undamp vibrations undamp vibrations that is there is no resistance to the motions of the body that is called the undamp vibrations so this is the basic difference now we will see the actually the what are the problems and its solutions now this problem now this is a equation problem number 4 means what this is related with the free vibrations i mean the fourth problem related with the free but it is the first one to the free undamped vibrations so look at this statement a measurement the measurements on a mechanical vibrating system shows that it has a mass of 8 kg and that the spring can be combined to the give an equilibrium spring of the stiffness 5.4 meter newton per mm if the vibrating system has a dash spot attached while expert a force of the 40 newton when the mass has a velocity of um, 1 meter per second find one that is critical damping coefficient twice that is a damping factor third that is a the third one longitudinal logarithmic decrement and fourth one that is a ratio of the two consecutive amplitudes so what is given in the problem the measurement of a mechanical vibrating system shows that it has a mass of m is given that is a 1 kg 8 kg and the spring combined to give equivalent spring stiffness s is given or k is given 5.4 newton per mm square the vibrating system has a dash spot of which is attached to expert the force f is given 40 newton when a mass has a velocity of 1 meter per second that is a velocity is given critical damping speed we have to find out cc damping factor c logarithmic decrement delta and that are the frequency conjugates of the amplitude x1 upon x2 that we have to calculate now the solution the critical damping coefficient c is equal to twice m omega n or you can say twice m under root of s upon m putting all these values we got 416 newton meter per second now the damping factor we know that damping factor c upon cc is equal to 40 upon 416 is equal to 0.096 so this is the damping factor okay so that then initially we are calculating the critical damping coefficient then again critical damping coefficient cc and damping factor that is the c upon cc now again second third one that is a logarithmic decrement so this will be calculated by delta is equal to twice pi c upon under root of cc square minus c square that is equal to tau pi 40 upon under root of 416 square minus 40 square we got the answer that is 0.6 now logarithmic decrement having the no unit The ratio of two consecutive amplitudes, let x n is equal to x n plus one, 
दैट इज मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ कॉन्सिक्यूटली एम्पलीट्यूड्स वी नो दैट लॉगरिथमिक डिक्रीमेंट डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू लॉग ई एक्स एन अपॉन एक्स एन प्लस वन और एक्स एन अपॉन एक्स एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू ई रेस्ट टू डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट एट टू दिस इज अ पर्टिकुलर आंसर नाउ द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम मास मशीन ऑफ मास सेवेंटी फाइव के जी इज माउंटेड ऑन अ स्प्रिंग एंड इज फिटेड एंड इज फिटेड विद डेस्पॉट ऑफ डैम्प विदाउट वाइब्रेशन देर आर थ्री स्प्रिंग ऑफ अ स्टिपनेस टेन न्यूटन पर एम एम and it is found that the amplitude of vibration dynamics from 38.4 mm and 6.4 mm in a two complete oscillations assuming that the damping the damping assuming The damping of vibrations or force varies. That of velocity determine determine first that is the resistance to the transport or unit velocity. Then again second that is the The velocity of frequency of damp vibrations of frequency to the undamped vibrations, and again third one that is period time of the damp vibrations. So these are the three things you have to find out. Look at to the solutions. A resistance of the damp spot at unit velocity. So you will know that x one upon x two back h four is equal to x one upon x one. Okay. The conjugate ratios are there. So x one upon x two is equal to under root of x one upon x three square. Everybody knows that. Putting the value in this equations, log e x one upon x two is equal to a n two two pi omega n square minus a back n square. So log e is equal to 2.45 into a upon 2 pi under root of 220 square minus a square 0.8951 a into 2 pi under root of 400 minus a square that is equal to 0.8 into is equal to a square into 39.5 upon 400 minus a square squaring both sides okay from that we got this so a square is equal to 7.95 so a is equal to 0.8 Put a is equal to c upon 2 pi. With that equation, c is equal to a into 2 or twice m 2.8 2 into 75. That's 420 newton per meter. Second, that's the ratio of the frequency of the damp vibrations to the frequency of undamped vibrations. F n1 is equal to frequency of damp vibrations omega d upon 2 pi. Omega n2 is equal to frequency of damp vibrations omega n. Upon two pi, F n one upon n two is equal to twice d, twice d, omega n upon omega n two is equal to omega d upon twice pi into two pi upon omega n. That is equal to omega d upon omega n. Putting all these values, we got zero point nine nine. Now the ratio is given. Ratio so, is asking me, so that's why there is a no there is no unit. Now the period period time of this time progressions they are asking. So we know that period time. Is equal to two pi under root of two pi upon twice t. Is equal to two pi upon under root of omega n square minus s square, where omega is twenty. Just put in these values and omega that is a is equal to two point eight. That before we are already calculated. 
so that is equal to 0 0.32 s so this is a particular answer so this is are the problems is based on the the topic that is the damp free vibrations